What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at blend angle corrected normals or basically how to combine two normal maps together. So I've got a very crude example over here where we've literally just used the node and plugged two normals together because that's all you got to do. You're basically grabbing your two textures, plug it into this, plug it into the normal. A more practical way to use this is to use them as detailed normals. So if we actually, I won't go into the material yet, but if we actually go close to this asset, so we've got some errors here, but if we go close, you can see there's like this surface lever effect, right? You can see it here as well. I see it like in the uh, light here. So it makes it look a bit more detailed and close instead of like a low res. If we actually turn that off. So this is with none of that blending. You've got this really low res. Well, it looks low res, not actually that low res, just um, I'm quite close to the surface. But if we turn that back on, if we turn it on really strong, you can really see it, right? And it's a way to add some extra detailing. So that's uh, one practical reason, uh, reason, one practical way of how to set it up. We actually go into the material. There's a lot going on. What it's doing is I'm world aligning, which I'm actually going to show um, in the next video. World aligning, throwing it. We're using some flattened normals to control how strong it is, which is how I'm adjusting a second ago, how I was adjusting how strong it was. So I've got the flattened normals called micro normals. And as I turn that up and down, we increase the strength ooh, of uh, those normals. And I'm basically just combining that with the normal, normal map. Like just the one that's for the couch. See that? We're just throwing it on top and we're giving extra detail. So how do we set that up? Well, it's very, very simple. At least a rudimentary way anyway. All you've got to do is grab your two normal maps. So let's go to... Let's grab like two normal maps from a random location. There you go. Let's go texture setups. We'll go concrete slabs. Grab that, create material, uh, blend normals. I'll just call it for an easier name. Open that up, grab another one. We'll just go to the cobblestone. All you gotta do is blend, no blend angle corrected normals. That's it. And let's go like that and plug that in. And boom, you've now got them combined. So whichever one's stronger, you're going to see more, which is why you could also get like a flat and normal in there and reduce some of that strength a little bit. Put it to like the 0.5. There you go. So it overlays a little bit better. But yeah, that's the very, very basic way on how to set it up. You can implement this in lots of different ways to actually have a more functional reason for it. For example, with the couch, I'm using it as a way, it's a horrible color. I'm using it as a way to uh, overlay some extra details. Um, but yeah, that is how, if you actually view it, you can see as well. So start preview. You've got the cobblestone, you can clearly see the, um, whatever that one was called. You can clearly see the tiled as well behind it. Yeah, that is the blend angle corrected normals. It's a very useful node. Um, you can probably find lots of different reasons to actually use it. And I will catch you guys next time.